Hi guys, this hacker rank challenge is called hacker rank in a string. In this problem, we are going to receive a string in a function and we need to verify if it contains the word hacker rank. So we'll confirm that it contains that word if a subsequence of the characters of the string that we receive spell the word hacker rank. So this is what they mean. We need to find hacker rank in a given string. Now let's say this is our given string. Of course, there are many duplicates here, but that string contains all the letters of the word hacker rank. So we have an H, an A, a C, a K, an E, double R's, and we have A and K. And the order in which these characters appear also match this word hacker rank. This means that if I loop through my string here, character by character, and I start here at the beginning, I can extract characters and get my word hacker rank. So I would extract H, then I would extract A, then I would extract this C, then this K, then this E, then double R's, and then A here, and N, and a K. If I go through this string, and I start at the beginning here, I can extract H, but then if I extract A here, I can't find a C to match this C here. I can find a K, an E, double R's, and also A and K, but the order in which these characters appear do not match this word hacker rank. So we would return no. So by now you should understand that what we need in this challenge is a string that contains all the characters from the word hacker rank. And these characters need to appear in the same order as in the word hacker rank. It doesn't matter if there are duplicates, if there are other characters introduced, we simply need to make sure that we're able to find all these characters and that the order in which they appear is valid. So one last example, if we're given this string, although we have this in the middle, which is not relevant to us, we are able to find an H here and then the rest of the word hacker rank. So we will say, yes, we are able to find the string hacker rank inside that string. So this is my code here. This is the solution. This is the function that we need to complete. But before I worked on that implementation, I created a string constant variable. This is just to make my code a bit more maintainable. Let's say in the future, we want to change the, the logic of that problem and we need to find a different word. We simply need to change the value of that constant at the beginning of our program. Now that we have our word here and it's in uppercase letters, we can enter our function. We have a string parameter called S. So in this case, S would be something like this or this, or even this last one. And what I'm going to do is go through that S string. So for that, I'm going to need an int variable that I'm going to call pause for the position. So as I go through my string, the string that I received as a parameter from the beginning to the end, I want to check two things. I will come back to that first if statement here, but let's go through this one to begin. And it says if the character at position I inside of my S string is equal to the character at the position pause in my word string here, that I'm going to move my position forward. So what does this mean? If I equals zero, then the character at position I inside of S with S being this string here is going to be equal to H because H is the first character. If pause equals zero at the beginning of my logic, then the character at position pause inside of my word constant is also going to be H and the word constant is what I have here. So as I'm looping through the characters of my S string here, if the characters match, then I can move forward one position because I've already found H. So now I want to find my next character, which is A. So I will also increase to become one. In this case, this will become A and this will also become A because the character at position I is A. And then inside my word constant here, the character at position pause with pause being one, is also A. So if they match again, I will move my position forward because now I need to find C. So I need to find C here and my loop will keep going. So in this case, when I equals two, the character at position I, which is two, is still A because there is a duplicate here. So I'm going to compare if A matches the character at position two inside of my word string here. And now I'm looking for C. So I'll move forward. Position will not change because I haven't found this yet. So I'm going to increase I is now three, so it's going to be equal to C. And now this is the character at position I inside my S string and it's C. They match, so as I increases and I is still C, pause is going to move because now I need to find K and we'll keep going just like that. So that's the logic that you see here. Once I find matching characters, I can increase my position inside my word string here and keep comparing 
with a character at position i inside my s string, which is the parameter. The moment I've found all my characters from my word string here, I've also found this last k. Then position this variable here, the variable pause, is going to be equal to the length of that word minus one, meaning that I have no more characters left to find inside this string parameter here. And therefore I can exit my loop. That's why I have this break statement here. So I will exit this. And finally, I'm going to verify, was I able to move my pause value all the way to the end, meaning that I was able to advance through my word string and find all my characters. So if this happened, then I'm going to return, yes, I was able to find hacker rank inside my S string here. Otherwise, I'm going to return no, because I wasn't able to find hacker rank in my S string. So that's the logic. Uh, we can run this code. This is C++ code, by the way. And we've passed the two sample test cases. So let's submit this code now. And we've also passed all the cases. So that's it for this hacker rank problem. If you like my solution, please subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, and I'll catch you next time.